So who the heck was bankrolling this exploration and doling out 10 pages of their magazine four times a year where I could spill the contents of what I'd found? People would ask me sometimes why I stayed with Sports Illustrated for so long, and my answer was always the same. They gave me the great gift of space and time, and it didn't take a genius to see how scarce those two realms were becoming in the trigger finger tweet, Twitter, and blog world that journalism was becoming. So that, along with the chance to share a publication with writers like Tom Verducci, Frank DeFord, Scott Price, having two wonderful ed editors named Rob Flater and Chris Hunt was why I stayed there, along with my secret ingredient, having on the back page of, every ma of those magazines, there was a column written by Rick Riley, which meant that just maybe, since my stories were always at the end of the magazine, that if they read, they'd always turn to the back and read Rick, but if they accidentally turn one more page, they could start reading my story backwards. <laughs>